<laughs> That's right. The Jags are in London. They are getting ready to take on the Indianapolis Colts. They sure are. And we have Sam over there in London as well, joining us live. <laughs> Sam, oh, it, it's raining. Typical of London. Of course it's raining. Of course. Yeah. It is. It's raining and it's cold. In other words, it's London. That's uh, the case. We are on Regent Street, which is closed every Saturday before the Jaguars game. Big celebration of the Jaguars. You can see the, the Jaguars entrance here on Regent Street. That's Piccadilly Circus right behind me, and there's a tube stop there as well. We found a Jaguar fan, in fact. Uh, yep. You'll have to kind of speak into this microphone okay. a little bit. But uh, What's your name again? Roland Powers. Roland, and, and you were deployed last year, so you couldn't come. I was in Africa for one year. Right. Surprise deployment, but uh, told my wife would absolutely be here. We wouldn't miss it. I've been a 20 plus year Jags. Uh, Jaguar since, fan. Since the beginning. Suffering. Suffering you know? <laughs> Jag fan. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Don't go anywhere, Roland. All right. All right. Oh, We're sure going to talk to you right after. I okay, want to sure. show everybody what's happening. Have you been down here on Regent yeah, Street? Absolutely. Yeah, it's right. pretty neat. It's it's you can see all this uh, going on on uh, Regent Street uh, as the NFL, as I mentioned, closes this. It's a big fan fest. It goes all the way down for probably five or six blocks. Jaguar players will be coming out probably in another 10 minutes as well. Uh, this stage right here on the left is where the, the Roar usually perform, and you see a lot of people there in line to get their picture made with the um, uh, with the Lombardi Trophy as well. The game tomorrow is at 2.30. If you remember last year, the game was streamed nationally and internationally. It was the first game that's ever been streamed, and it was an incredible success. The NFL is going to continue to explore that, but our game is actually going to be televised nationally tomorrow at 9.30 Eastern time, which obviously is 6.30 on the West Coast. So there'll be football on national television all day beginning tomorrow. But it is uh, uh, the Jaguars are having a walkthrough at Wembley, most of them, and then some other guys uh, took cars down here to make an appearance on Regent Street. In the next hour, we'll take you down there, in fact, to uh, see what they're up to and see if we can talk to some of the players, see if we can find some more fans as well. The rain, as they always say, has not dampened the spirits of football fans here in the National Football League in London, which this year will have three games. Don't be surprised if this is expanded to maybe as many as eight or nine games during the year. Don't be surprised if the Jaguars are at one point, and if you don't mind, Ashley, I'm going to go ahead and put my hood up, uh, and Bakari. Uh, don't be surprised if the Jaguars aren't asked to play a home game at Wembley one week and then stay a week and then play a, um, uh, as the visitor the next week at Whitehall Lane, which is Tottenham's home stadium, which will be done next year, holds 65,000. And starting next year, they're going to have two games there and one game, the Jaguar game, will be at Wembley. We'll explain why coming up. For now, we're live on Regent Street in London. Sam Kavaris, Channel 4, the local station. Thanks, Sam. Stay dry and uh, have some fish and chips for me. So be sure to join us tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock for our pregame show live from London. Of course, Sam's going to have much more on how the players are preparing for their fourth game in the U.K. Kickoff is at 9.30 in the morning.